happy Monday. Thank you for joining me here tonight. Uh, tonight we are going to continue on our little Tyranno dress up embroidery. So there we are. <laughs> we just have his cute little, his little ice skates to go. So I thought we'd finish this up tonight. Uh, typically we would be working on the granny square quilt. Uh, and we'll do that again tomorrow. But tonight is the last day of our 30% off of our embroidery kits. So I thought, why not finish up our little Tyranno? Uh, this is from our Tyranno embroidery kit. And uh, we made a little extra dress up patterns for him, which come as a digital download when you order the kit. So I thought, why not do this tonight? I think it'll, it'll be a fun project to finish up. We can check it off the list. <laughs> so thanks for joining me here tonight. My name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make cute embroidery kits for the beginning crafter. And I'm here every weeknight at 8.30 p.m. Central Time, and it's a time that we can relax and craft together. Uh, I'm here for about an hour, and I work on projects from beginning to end so you can be part of the whole process along the way. So let's continue with the dino dress-up, the Tyranno dress-up here. Alrighty. So thanks everyone for joining tonight. It's been a little while, right? Uh, we had Thanksgiving. I'm going to get right down here. Uh, and that was just nice. John and I basically stayed home, uh, took off. I slept in <laughs> every day. It was pretty good. All right, so this is how far we are on our dino. We are just missing the little feet. And to just kind of recap what we're doing here, uh, I have it all clipped together, but this is from the original kit, this Tyranno pattern. And obviously he does not have any clothes on. Here's, here's the cover for the Tyranno kit. And the kit comes with the fabric and the hoop and needle and everything. So that's, that's where, where this came from. But... I thought it'd be kind of fun to make a little extra pattern. So I made this digital download uh, that it comes with the kit uh, when you download the kit. But what it is, is a, a little dress up like a, like a paper doll almost. So there's a bunch of hats and a scarf. He's got his little mask, uh, some mittens. And we got some different shoes. We got, we got some swim trunks in there too. So a little summer stuff and a little winter stuff. And what you do is you first trace on, from the kit, you trace on the dinosaur. So we did that with a water-soluble marker. And then there's little guides here to know where to put, to put everything. But then we picked a few, uh, a few things that we thought he could wear. And uh, we just traced that right on top. And you can see that, you can see that right here, that we have his feet. You can see his feet because we trace that first, but then we put the shoes right on top of the feet. And the trick is we're just going to stitch the shoes. We won't stitch the feet. And we kind of did that with his little bubble coat here too. You can see the little drawing of the dinosaur and his arms and leg and back underneath there, but we just didn't stitch that part. Um, that'll come off with water when we're done. I'll, I'll dab it with some water. Uh, so then it'll just look like he's wearing the coat. So all we have left is the uh, the, his little feet and, uh, we have him wearing some ice skates and, uh, we did some turkey work, uh, some turkey work here up at the top. Uh, so that's that little furry stitch and it works perfect for the pom-pom. And it was a, suggested that we do some on the little, uh, ice skates too, like little mini pom-poms on the ice skates. And I thought that was a super cute idea. So I thought we'd do that. Uh, yes, so Colleen's asking if this is what we're going to be working on today. Yep, I am, uh, I'm kind of having almost like finish it Friday on Monday here. I guess we're not technically into December yet, so, um, uh, I thought we'd work on a kit because you can get this at 30% off today yet on, um, Penguin and Fish. Uh, so this weekend, including today, we were, uh, doing a sale on our embroidery kits, so they're 30% off through tonight so uh tonight is the last night so if you get this kit uh the tyranno kit it will come with 
the dress up pattern with it. So um, I just didn't want you guys to miss it. So I thought, why not work on this a little bit today instead? And then tomorrow we will work on the granny square quilt again. So I'm just trying to think through if we should make, like in theory, I want him to have like white ice skates, although with the black. So I thought maybe I do black as an outline. Um, and then it would look like the white on the inside is the ice skate. But now having it black, it's almost kind of making it look like a hockey skate a little bit. I wonder if we should find, I'm just kind of testing it out with, with the thread here. I wonder if I should find some white. So I have my, my scrap fabric, or my scrap thread bin here. Uh, so I just kind of use this to find, I, I, I make a pom-poms out of my scrap embroidery floss. So I have my pom-pom winders in here and uh, I just throw scrap thread after projects. I'm done with projects and I, I throw them in here. I'm gonna get this teal out too, this winter morning. I think here's some that's already used. Um, but I use this for other projects and stuff too. I do actually have really nicely wound up uh, floss as well, but yeah, when, I, when it comes from a kit, I just throw it in here when I'm done. Okay, so I'm not sure. I don't know, white actually is kind of cute maybe, but maybe it doesn't stand out enough. I don't know, That's what I'm worried about is that you won't be able to see the white. Although cute, I think. <laughs> um, we could do, well, so ice skates, I think typically have like a black heel. So we could do, we could maybe do, all right, how about this? How about white skates, we'll do a black heel And then maybe blue for the blade, because it's kind of like a silver. And then uh, um, then we could do like a blue pom-pom. Oh, Sylvia's saying like maybe a blue or white mix, a blue and white mix. So that would be an option. We kind of did that with um, that koala. That's not a bad idea. All right, let's start, let's start with a blue and white mix. Let's just go around the outside. Let's just start there. Let's make a decision. How about that? Um, all right, so I'm going to start with my white and I'm gonna cut like my 24 inches or so. And let's take two strands out of here. Maybe I'll do two strands of white and I'll throw one strand. Well, let's cut that right away too. I'll put one strand of this uh, winter morning color, this teal in it. And then I still think we'll do black for the the heel. I don't know, maybe I do want this all white yet. I haven't really mixed anything else here. I kind of like the idea that the pom-pom could be mixed though, because we did mix this pom-pom up why don't we do it that way? So how about I do white? I'm gonna stitch white around the outside and I'll do like blue shoelaces and blue blades. And then maybe we'll do a blue and white pom-pom. I, I think that's how I'm gonna do this. It'll be kind of cute. See how it goes. Oh, thanks, Colleen. Uh. Oh, I know there was, um, there was a few customer service questions. So if you had a question on your order, I will, um, I'll be doing that right after I'm done here. So um, I'll, I'll be getting to that tonight yet. All right, I got my embroidery needle. I cut myself on the on the vacuum cleaner this weekend. So don't mind my crazy hand. All right, I'm gonna just weave in the back of these stitches and then we'll get started. So one. All 
tomorrow we will be back doing the granny square quilt. And I think I'm going to be working on the border of that a little bit more. All right, let's just go around here. I'm kind of thinking through this a little bit more. Yeah, I think we're going to just go around this in white. Okay, and I'm not using an embroidery hoop either. Let's... <laughs> I'm like, this feels funny. I just got stitching right away. You don't actually need an embroidery hoop, but I do like using one. And I got one right here, so let's use it. There we are. That feels better. <laughs> okay. Oh, something felt weird. I think my fabric is tan enough and this white bright enough that you will be able to see this white on here. Oh, thanks, Sally. Yeah, I was just, just moving the... Uh, trying to clean up around here, move the vacuum, and it's just so clunky when I lifted it up that I just scraped my hand on part of it somewhere. I don't know. So let me know how all your Thanksgiving was. We are definitely still eating turkey and cranberry sauce for every meal, which is great. <laughs> I kind of love it. I'm intending to make soup, but I haven't, haven't managed to make the soup yet. Some turkey soup with just everything in it. I did make some stock, so I did make some uh, turkey soup stock that's in the freezer so it's all ready to go I just gotta like you know get some onions and garlic going and throwing all the stuff throwing some water or some stock I mean oh Christy's making a pom-pom Christmas wreath ugh how fun I would kind of like to do that this year yet Everyone's getting the Christmases up. Oh, so you guys, I I um, put in our donation to Australians for Animals. So, oop, I have a knot. Um, so we, you know, from the from the quilt auction and all the koala items that you guys purchased. I, I did the donation for that today, and because um, the dollar is doing better in the U.S. right now, we were able to donate almost $1,000 more than, uh, um, than if it was just U.S. dollars. So uh, our dollar is going quite a bit farther than... than um, it might have so that's that's exciting so they're getting even more uh they're getting even more from from our donation from all your guys's um hard work so that was exciting so that went out today Ooh, you turkey soup and homemade bread that sounds good John made an amazing turkey this year. We haven't done that in a while. We haven't done that much, period, uh, doing our own Thanksgiving alone. Uh, we've done it a couple times. But he got, uh, he got, he called my mom <laughs> to find out how she was brining uh, her turkey and, and when to do it and stuff. So he, he brined our turkey and I think that did the trick. It really had a lot of flavor. And then we we didn't do the traditional flavors on it this year. We just kind of tried to use up our... Um, we tried to use up our just spices that we had. So there was like turmeric and cumin and all that on the top. It was really kind of delicious. Uh, 
yeah, it was so awesome that we were able to donate donate more. I I um the donation was in Australian dollars, so I I uh, did the conversion beforehand, and I'm like, oh dang, we get a, we get to donate a thousand more dollars, um, than we would have prior. So that's that was awesome. All right, so I think I'm going to come down this white with this like lip too. Although that could all be teal. I'm just trying to think of like this this inside bit. Maybe I'll make it teal, just so that there's more teal. We'll just do this white for the outline, and I'll do the white for um, the little pom pom. We'll we'll get that pom pom in here yet. All right, so let's weave in the end. I think why don't we go over and just do the other shoe right away. The other skate. All right, let's get our other strand of three because I don't think the other one's gonna get us very far. I think the white stands off, stands out enough. Uh, I think that it's looking, I mean, it does kind of blend in quite a bit, but I, th I think we'll be okay. It's kind of cute this way, I think. Oh, Becky, I'm happy you're with us here now. We can spend time together. That was the hard part, just not being by anybody. Um, I'm glad John was here. We did do a Zoom with uh, both our families, so that, that was nice, but bittersweet, too. All right, let's zoom through this other little ice skate. And um, we'll start adding, I think we'll do the black heels next, and then we'll add the blade and his little shoelaces and like basically like the tongue of the skate. Oh yeah, Robin, that's perfect. Robin says, I ordered my t-shirt and wrote the size in the notes. Hope, hope that's what I was supposed to do. Yep, that's perfect. If if you guys did, um, I think everyone, I think I have everyone's size, but if you didn't write your, if you didn't write your t-shirt size in the notes, uh, in the note to seller at the end of the checkout, um, and you did not email it to me, I think I replied to everyone who emailed me, um, I should have emailed you. So I think everyone, I think we have everyone's. <laughs> Luann says, sorry I'm late, took a, took a wrong turn. <laughs> As can happen on uh, the facey pages. I wanted to thank you guys again for uh, ordering stuff for the koala quilt and and for this week, this past week too, with Black Friday and Small Business Saturday and Cyber Monday today, just uh, ordering our kits and ordering the Embroidery of the Month bundles. We brought those all back. Um, thanks for using those deals that we're doing. It means everything to John and me as, you know, our small business here. So we, we appreciate you guys so much. And definitely appreciate uh, your orders this time of year. So thank you very much. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with this guy when it's done. Like, I literally almost want to, like, 
turn it into a patch and stitch it onto a t-shirt. Like, I, I, I want this guy to be on a t-shirt, is, is how I'm feeling. I don't know. I'm undecided. I have a whole batch of embroideries that I need to figure out what to do with, too. I do like sometimes having a plan for the embroidery beforehand. That's kind of what my sew and stitch embroidery book was was about, that, like, the embroidery can be the star of the project. Like, you can build, build the project around the embroidery. Um... So, it's weird to me sometimes just stitching all these and not knowing what I'm doing with them. So, I'm kind of I'm kind of getting a batch of embroideries together. I do like making quilts and turning it into quilts, but some of these would be fun as like little tote bags or or other stuff too. I don't know, it's just funny. I'm just enjoying the process of um oh, I didn't I don't my um this guy on here. Uh, I'm enjoying the process of making them and I guess not worrying too much about how they're gonna what they're gonna end up living like. Okay, you need to be somewhere else. You need to go up here. Oop. Okay. Uh, let's let's put in the black, I think. I really should have done the white probably last because all these other things are kind of feel like an underneath layer to the to the white, but I wanted to see what the white was going to look like. All right, so it's really just a little bit of black, just the heel. And you know, in the in this little example, I I satin stitched. I like I filled in. I didn't I mean it's just filled in. It implies that I could satin stitch it. Um, I don't know. Should I satin stitch these little heels? It's not much, so I don't think it would take your eye away from things by having such a bold, bold thing down there. I also could just outline it like everything else. But I, can't, I don't know. I'm going to satin stitch it. Let's, let's just do it. Let's cut some thread. It'll just be like five sand stitches and then we'll be done. I do like his little, oh my gosh, <laughs> that's just making me laugh. I was thinking I do like his little uh, zipper here, but like what I just freaked out about is, you know, it's Cyber Monday, uh, so it's time to get deals online and all that, right? Uh, John has been needing a winter coat uh, for a while, like his is all torn up and the zipper doesn't work and it's going to be winter and he's going to be needing it soon. Uh, so we were looking at like ski jackets, you know, cause they're super percentage off right now. And I think the coat he got is like almost this exact color. <laughs> I don't think it's quite the, a bubble coat, but I think that's pretty much the color coat he got. So that's kind of funny. <laughs> I should make him a hat that looks like this. Then we should go ice skating. Gosh, it's been so warm, we can't go ice skating anywhere yet. In Minnesota here, there are ice skating rinks just everywhere. Um, I don't know what that's, how that's happening through COVID, though. Maybe they won't be, maybe they won't be anywhere. So Amy's saying, like, a gray would be, yeah, less overpowering down here. I think what's keeping me doing it now is that we do have the black eyes, so it's not a totally new introduction. Um, if all this was like really pale and then we had like these black shoes, I think that would be too much, but I think we'll be okay. I think we're gonna just go with it. I think it, I mean, like, I think it says ice skate a little bit having, having these be black, but maybe I'm just, I don't know, maybe this will be dumb. We'll see. I'm going to stick to it now. I mean, really, if I don't like this, I could cut it out and, and change the colors and stuff. But I think we'll just stick with this white and stick with this black. All right, so I'm going to 
come up from the bottom of that heel and go up because I already stitched this. Normally I, I would want to stitch the satin stitch first, so I'm going to just try and tuck it under this white so it doesn't land on the top. So it doesn't go on top of the white. I want it to feel like the white's on top, so I got to kind of get my needle under there. Oh! <laughs> Uh, Sally says, I love how you color code your scissors to the project you're working on. It kind of turns out like that, doesn't it? Like, I got I got Mr. Blue scissors out here today, and it, it's, like, literally pretty dang close to this color. I think we're going to get some scissors like this made. I know I've been talking about it for a little while, but we're going to get these um, produced, I think. It has a little sparkle in. I think I'm going to take that sparkle out because I like the matte color, but I think I might actually match it on purpose to some of our, some of our floss because then like the two could go together and you really, really could match, match projects. Yeah, I know I had that purple one when we were working on the, the koala that had that purple in too. I must just like, be subliminally like thinking about that a little bit. <laughs> Just grabbing the color that matches. Oh dang, Noeline says it was so hot in in um, Australia that ugh, ice skinny rings were melting. Gosh, that would be a fun thing to do on a super hot day. Go to like an indoor ice skating rink somewhere. Gosh, I haven't ice skated in ages and ages and ages. Marie says, yeah, that'd be funny making, like, making John a matching hat, <laughs> and then he could look like this little dinosaur. Ah, oh, I've been feeling like it's almost time to start knitting again. Like, I'm, I'm, f over this weekend, I didn't, I didn't get to it, but remember I've been working on that, that lamb stuffed animal? There, I'm, I think I'm done there. The lamb stuffed animal, uh, from Pearl Soho, that knitting project, I almost got that out and started working on it. But, uh, John and I played video games instead, which we haven't done in, like, over two years, probably. And then all of a sudden on Thanksgiving and the next day we're like, let's play video games, let's just sit on the couch and play video games together, and, ugh, we haven't done that in ages and it was just silly and fun. <laughs> But yeah, so that one over knitting. <laughs> oh, Chrissy says when I lived in Iowa, uh, she had a ice skating rink at the mall. That's cool. I guess technically we have an ice skating rink at the mall too. The, the Mall of America has a big outdoor ice skating rink right now. I don't know if that's open either. I don't know what any of the... Well, first of all, it's probably not open because it's outdoors and it's warm out, so there's going to be straight up no ice. <laughs> so I guess that answers my question. But uh, I wonder if any of those outdoor rec areas, which is all over, like walk a mile and you'll get to a park that has a little ice skating rink. Um, I wonder if any of those are going to be open this year. Becky, I do not play Minecraft. We are literally playing old school um, Super Mario Kart on like our old, oh my god, like our 20 year old console. Ugh, is it really 20 years old? It's at least 15 years old. I think it's an N64 or something. I don't even know. It's that cube, the Nintendo cube thing. So we play, we played Mario Kart which I freaking love and <laughs> and I haven't played in ages and we played um this like game that my brother got us years ago oh my gosh I don't even think I know the name of it offhand but it's just it's kind of like a Mario Brothers type game where it's like a 2D thing and you're just bouncing on on one plane basically it's it doesn't go into 3D space or anything like a role playing game or anything like that um gosh I can't even remember the name of it but we played that for a long time too <laughs> just those two I think that's oh I think John has like a skiing game too but we didn't play that 
Those are three games, but literally, like, Super Mario Kart. I could play that all day. <laughs> Sylvia says we ice skate on open ponds. That's how we used to do it to our neighbors um, growing up had a pond that a good portion of it, of it would freeze over. And we'd play um, broom, broom ball on it, which is basically ice hockey with a broom and you're in boots. Or you can be in ice skates too, I suppose. We played a lot of broom ball growing up. That was fun stuff, man. All right, so I think from far away, this does look like just two little black blotches. But when you look at it closer up, you can tell that there's there's white stitching there. I, I think it's okay. I think if we would have done the whole thing in black, that would have been fine too. It would have had the impression of white ice skate still, but it was, it was kind of fun doing this in white. I, I think I'm okay with it. Um, yeah, even though those, those um, heels pop quite a bit, but we'll see how it keeps going. So I'm going to do the blue now, this light blue. I'm just going to come in and do like the tongue and there's these little lines for, um, you know, shoelaces or something. And then I think I'm going to make the blades this color too. Yeah, I think that'll look cute. And then we will combine this teal or this light pale blue and and the white and I think we'll do little pom-poms like right on top like right on the top of the tongue maybe so it'll flop over uh, his leg a little bit. I think that sounds like fun. Oh, is mine because so Minecraft you can go into other people's world like you can like type in a code or something. <laughs> I, I I know a lot of people started playing. Oh my god, I'm just going to sound like the worst not knowing about any video games. But that one with all the foxes and whatever and people are talking to each other. What is that super popular game that everyone started playing during um, quarantine? Whatever that is, I that's, that's like you can go into other people's world and stuff too. Maybe that's a common thing. Like I said, uh, these games are from like 15 plus years ago. <laughs> Ugh, I don't know how all the new games work. All right, I think I'm gonna do the blade first and then we'll come up and do, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I guess we're doing the blade first. Animal Crossing, that's it, Christy. Sheesh, I think it's just that time of night that, you know, nouns leave my brain <laughs> and math, so. <laughs> And we'll cross, and that's what I was thinking. Oh, Cribbage, that's a popular game with our family. Although I don't play, like, I I don't play it often. I, I have to get trained on how to play every, uh, every time we do it. And all the, like, little tricks and stuff. I think I'm going to do... Let's do little chain stitches for this. Um, you know, we were doing these chain stitches up here. So why not? Let's introduce them again. It'll make them extra. It'll make it extra bold down here too. Like big fat blades. Because a chain stitch kind of is like double thickness. Oh, I think I'm, yeah. Something didn't feel right here. Oh yeah, I like this already. So we're doing, yeah, chain stitch for the blades. That little stem that goes from the heel to the blade, I just did one little stitch for that, but ooh, this is gonna look great with um, with a chain stitch. Okay, yay! This is fun. It's kind of fun uh, uh, embroidery where you don't have it all kind of planned out, where you just kind of make decisions on the go. It's a little stressful, but it is, it's kind of fun at the same time. It's like, you know what it's like? It's like cooking when you don't have 
a recipe and you have to make something with what's in the fridge. <laughs> like I'm stitching this line. How do I make it stand out and taste good here on, on um, the fabric here? And I was thinking, ah, it'd be nice if it was a little bolder maybe. So a chain stitch is a bit fatter. So it's gonna make a heavier line, a thicker line. So I think that did the job. I mean, it's really thick. Maybe it's a little too thick, but <laughs> it does put some visual focus down there um, at the heels. It kind of, or at the at the feet, it kind of grounds it all a little bit because it's so light, that white. So I think, I think this is a good idea. And I just really like chain stitches. I think they're super cute. All right, let's put that little anchor stitch in there. Ha <laughs> ha, I like those jokes. Amy's like, what does a mermaid wear to math class? LG bra. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, Marie, I used to love playing Super Mario too. So, uh, or as well, not Super Mario too. But uh, we never had Nintendo growing up, so that was always at, like at a friend's house we could play Mario Brothers or something. All right, I'm gonna get these little crossbars here of the shoelace first, and then I'll go around the edge. And I think I'll do the same on the other side and we'll come back and do the turkey work um, last on both. We're just, instead of just sticking with one, one side, we're kind of jumping around a little bit. So I'm not going to take off the uh, lines tonight. I'll probably just do that, you know, when we're done here. And uh, I'll just take a nice photo of it without the the extra water soluble lines on there. Like, so we won't see his feet and his body uh, through his coat and shoes anymore. Uh, I just don't, I don't have any, I don't have a wet rag by me right now, but you can just get like soak the end of the towel. You will actually need quite a glob of water um, and then just dab it all over. And then that will kind of make the water soluble marker go away. And if it doesn't go away all the way, just keep putting more water on there. That should do the job. Okay, these ice skates are looking pretty dang cute right now. I'm excited. It'll be fun to put the little pom-pom on the top too. All right, here's the last stitch here. I don't really think we have enough thread. I think we'll have enough thread for the uh, turkey work because I'm probably just going to do like I don't know, three stitches or so, and then because they're just gonna be little pom poms. Uh, so I think I'll I'll save this blue for that. It might be just enough, uh, but for this other other guy, especially since we're doing that chain stitch, I'm gonna get a whole other. This is the other three strands from when we separated the three. Noeline, that's hilarious. Noeline says, I played Asteroid one night until the wee hours of the morning and my score was in the millions. OMG, it was epic. <laughs> so we we never, we were never, we wanted a Nintendo bad, but we didn't, we didn't ever have a Nintendo. However, we had a Game Boy. So a Nintendo Game Boy, those are those little handheld ones. Well, I'm sure you know what a Game Boy is, but th these were the old school gray ones, like the like the size of a VHS. <laughs> you know, not everyone even probably knows what a VHS is. Everyone here probably knows all these things, uh, but um, then all of a sudden it was okay. Like we weren't we weren't allowed to have Nintendo, but the the Game Boy was okay, and. Uh, 
my mom, like, like, just binged on, like, Tetris, basically. <laughs> so, uh, I always thought, we always, me and my brothers always thought that was funny, like, oh, we're never allowed to have Nintendo, but then we got Game Boy, and then mom just played it all the time. <laughs> Or in the evening, she she was the Tetris master, and then uh, then Doctor Mario came out, which is basically another form of Tetris, and and uh, she played that a ton too. She was the best at Tetris, that's for sure. But I'm doing just doing that chain stitch again. I'm getting a little twisty here. Let's just let, I'm just letting the thread dangle a little bit to untwist. Probably would have helped to um, put some thread conditioner on it, but I figure we're just stitching a few little stitches here. Oh, I'm so excited to get this done. So again, you guys, this is uh, this is from our. Tyranno embroidery kit. So the kit comes with everything. Um, and then all his clothes, that is a bonus pattern that I have as a digital download that comes directly to your mail, basically, when you um, order the Tyranno kit. So anytime you order a digital pattern from me, if you go into your order receipt, there will be a download now button. So it's right in your order receipt. And then that will download the PDF digital pattern. So yeah, you'll get that right away when you get the kit. But yeah, so all our embroidery kits from the embroidery kit section, including this guy, are all on sale till the end of the day, end of Cyber Monday. So at midnight, um, that will be done. Oh, Lynn, that's great to hear. Lynn says, love my embroidery needles I got from Penguin and Fish. So nice to have the right size needle. Yeah, I I um, I really like that size needle. We do like a size 5 embroidery needle. And I think it's great for embroidery floss with a, like a large eye so you can get all that floss in there. All right, I'm just going around that those um that tongue again it's a little like I like I gotta pay attention while I'm stitching these guys because remember we traced the dino the tyranno first so I got his feet in here and I, so I gotta remember to avoid his feet lines I don't want to stitch the feet just the shoes I actually really like how these are turning out they're so silly yeah, and then we'll do a combo of colors, like how we did a combo of colors here. We'll do the, um, we'll do the uh, white, white and this light blue together. Oh, you're ho hooked on, uh, Marie said she was hooked on Mega Mania on Atari. So we went to, um, a friend's house and they had they had an Atari so we played a lot of pitfall a lot of pitfall on that Atari <laughs> so I, I've, I've played my fair share of Atari too I like those super basic games those super basic games where you just run and then jump Ugh, those are my favorite I don't think I'd be able to handle all these like 3D games where, you know, you have all your partners that you have to work with over the comm system and like, I don't know, you gotta watch the map and move around and I don't know. I don't think I'd be able to <laughs> manage those, that type of game very well. All right, done with that. Okay, so let's let's do 
these little pom-poms. So first of all, here we go. This is what his little icy skates are looking like. Again, we'll get rid of all those lines on the inside so they'll look a little cuter, but I think those um, chain stitches were the way to go. I mean, like how freaking cute are those little chain stitch blades on there? I think that was great. So let's go and I wanna make like a little pom-pom, I think just right on top of the tongue here. Almost like he laced up his skates and he had little palm widgets on the top. I mean, we could have like little, little line and then a palm, but I think just like a little fun palm at the top of each of the, the tongues here will do. So I'm gonna use six strands and I wonder if I can get away with what I got here. Yeah, that doesn't look like enough. I am gonna try and get away with the blue that I have left. So let's just get a piece of white that's the same length and I'll split the white in half. So we'll have three white strands and three blue strands in each of these pom-poms. Oh, it's gonna be cute. Cute, cute, cute. Oh yeah, like Halo, all those games. That's like way too much. Way too much for me to handle. Like give me some Mario Kart. So that's what I was wondering too, like it could be on the toe, but I'm trying to think like, it's kind of like you're lacing up your skates and they're on the, are they on the end of the like shoelaces kind of? I'm gonna put them on the top. I, there's no real good, it's so round and goofy. There's no real end point to his toe here. So I think we're just gonna throw them on the top. Okay, I'm missing a strand here. There we go. All right, so I am using six strands now, uh, just so I have more threads. And we'll give this turkey work a go. It's I've only done this a couple times. I think this is my first time doing turkey work up here. So turkey work gives you that like fluffy, fluffy um, look. And I think I'm gonna do this. This maybe I'll do just do, gosh, almost like just two stitches and then maybe two stitches underneath. It really wouldn't need a lot. So I'm gonna start from the top and we're gonna leave these ends out. I got other stitches here, so it's gonna be kind of crowded here too. We're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna go right here. I'm just gonna stitch over all my other stitches. Okay, whoop, I pulled that a little bit too far. Yeah, I, I forgot I'm working with hardly any thread here, so. I, I accidentally pull thread out a lot when I'm, have hardly any thread. So, all right, I have little fuzzles. We're gonna, we're gonna cut all these down. That's way too long. But I'm gonna leave it there for now. And I'm gonna just kinda do a little back stitch on top. It's like doing two stitches at, like trading off doing stitches. So we'll get that long piece and then I'm gonna do a little back stitch, kind of going over the top of it. And that, that back stitch is holding it down. All right, so now I'm gonna come up, kind of where that uh, first stitch was almost, in the middle of our little back stitch. And I'm gonna make a little loop. And you know what, I'm gonna actually shimmy my embroidery closer to the edge. Oops, move this guy. Cause I'm having a hard time. I like holding the back of the piece or I like um, holding it with my, like I like feeling the stitches with my left hand too. So I'm actually gonna move the embroidery closer to the edge so I can hold it a little bit better. So there's nothing wrong with moving your embroidery around. It doesn't have to stay in the middle while you're working on it. We will move it uh, to the back when we're done. All right, let's get this guy back on. Okay, there, see now I can get my hands right in there. 
and my hand on the back is holding it. So uh, if you need to move the uh, hoop over, go for it. Make it easy for yourself. So I'm just making a little loop here. So I'm going up and coming back down and I'm holding it there. We're gonna go back basically in the same hole we just came out of. Okay, so we got a little loop. And now I'm gonna do like another back stitch over the top of that. I'm gonna kind of come up and split the last back stitch. And again, that's gonna hold that loop down. I think we'll do one more loop here. I think I'm not really going far enough away from those, these loops. I'm supposed to go a little further with the back stitches, but I think we'll be fine. Oop, that's a little short. Come back here. All right, so it looks crazy now, but like I said, we're gonna trim these down and I think it'll be cuter. I'm gonna do one more row right next to that, or like right underneath it. So I'm gonna come up right here. Actually, I might just do like two stitches. Well, I guess that's kind of what we did last time. Okay, here's my first loop that I'm making. Okay, let's back stitch over that. Oh yeah, this will be, I think, a good size. All right, this is gonna be my last little loop. And then I'm just gonna come up with the thread. So the thread will end up on the front, just like how we started on the front. All right, and I'm just gonna come up. And we'll finish up this this guy first just to see if we like it um, before moving on to the next one. But this is how turkey work starts. We got these wacky loops. We got all this thread everywhere. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just cut through the loops. Make sure I'm getting all of them. All right, I think we got them all. Let's cut this. Okay, and now we can basically give this a little haircut and kind of kind of pull it together like this. And I think we want these pretty short. We want these to be like little bitty poofy palms. I suppose it's probably better to start longer and then cut shorter like you're cutting hair. I kind of went for it here. <laughs> it's looking kind of cute though. Let's try and round them, round them off a little bit. Uh, it's so silly. Get the fuzzles out of there. <laughs> it's silly. I like it. Silly dinosaur. All right, I'm thinking that looks pretty good there. <laughs> It's so silly. Okay, love it. And those guys should be holding there just fine. All right, let's do that again. I think that was a good amount, just like the two rows there. So let's uh, get our other little pieces of thread that we got going on. <laughs> it's cute. All right putting these guys together. I'm looking for my needle. It's in exactly where it should be on the needle minder, needle minder there. I'm just gonna trim this edge so it's easier to thread. Ugh, Becky, that sounds awesome. I bought myself a fancy 
um, not, not thousands of dollars fancy like some of these pens, but just like a nice fountain pen. One that like you could get like the, you could really see the difference between the thick and thin lines. Just like, you know, calligraphy is popular and I thought it'd be fun to do that. That is my favorite pen for sure. And I have, um, I have like one of those, gosh, what's that called? That you can keep filling up with the keep filling up with new ink like it doesn't have like it's a refillable th one it's not like you have to buy the little ink cartridges so I just love using that it's just so fun makes your writing feel special like the actual having to write something it, it makes it feel special while you're writing it right, I'm gonna just can't quite reach this and I don't want to switch my hand. I don't want to like move this in the hoop again. So I'm just going to use a little different position here. I'm just going to get my finger going on in here. Okay. Here's my first loop. All right. Lock it down with that back stitch. Right, and we had one more on the first row. Alright, that'll lock down. Kind of like split back stitch. Ugh. It's a little more difficult to stitch because we're using the six strands of floss and that's a little harder to pull through the fabric. All right, let's do the second row. So I'm going all the way to the left again, but you can, you can trade off the rows. Like I can, you can go left and then right, then left. You just kind of have to reverse what you're doing. But since I'm so close to the beginning of the row, I'm just, just doing Starting from the beginning again. Come on. Oh, wow. Jill says, I just did a Santa and used turkey stitch on his beard with yarn. Oh, well, now that's a cute idea, using yarn for it. Um... And brushed it with a fine dog brush after and trimmed it. And it was soft like fur. Ooh, that sounds amazing. That sounds like it worked really, really well. Yeah, I love brushing out um, embroidery floss when I'm done. I mean, I didn't really have to for this because there's not much there. But yeah, with a different material. Like, embroidery floss just gets kind of silky and pretty, which is nice. But yeah, a yarn, you could really make it fluffy. Ugh, come on, guy. There we go. And for a Santa, that'd be pretty fun. I like that idea. All right, I got all... This is really awkward hand position for me, but we're getting it done. This is the last one. I'm gonna just do the back stitch over the top here and we'll come up. And that'll be our last little end and we can trim them all. All right, we're locked in. Coming up. Come on, there we go. All right, that's that. Snip that off and uh, so you could really, this would be a different look like you know, you could leave them loopy like this too. I mean, you'd really have to make sure you get them at just the right height that you want as you're stitching. Um, but loops would be pretty cute too. All right, let's trim off the top of these. I'll start a little bit longer. Out of here, fuzzles. All right, they're definitely longer than the other one. Let's let's shorten them up. Okay, out of here. 
your puzzles. Okay, a couple little long ones in here. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. Poof him up a little bit. So there are his little, uh, little pom pommy <laughs> little ice skates there. All right, uh, we're basically done with this guy. I don't think, I think we got everything here. Let's take him out of the hoop. Uh, so like I said, I, I don't have water to take off the stick or the, um, the water soluble marker now, but I will go ahead and uh, take that off and uh, take a better picture of this. But there we are. He turned out so sweet. <laughs> His little little hat and always little pom pom feet. Just so silly. All right, I had so much fun making this guy, uh, you guys. And uh, again, this all his clothes are from that Tyranno dress-up pattern. So you can really, like, we could have put sunglasses on him or, or a different hat or earmuffs or something. Like, it would have been fun. You could make a whole pile of them. Like, I did some little sample ones here, even, like, a little Santa one. <laughs> that guy has his mask on. Uh, you know, even a little summer guy. Those are just examples. We didn't, we didn't do any of those. We combined different ones. So we have, like, we have that coat that he wears here we have this little hat but we did the pom-poms kind of fun with that turkey work and then we did the ice skates like what this guy has on uh but yeah that was fun so that pattern uh comes with this as a digital it comes with the kit so when you get the kit of the tyranno uh from penguinandfish.com you'll also get uh that that dress up pattern Ugh, he turned out so fun all right, you guys, I am so happy uh, with this. It, it was just a silly idea, and it, it turned out so cute, I think, the whole idea of uh, dressing him up. I just think it turned out adorable. Ugh, so awesome. So I'm happy I was able to finish that tonight, too, uh, on the last day of our embroidery kit sale. Uh, so thanks again, everyone who got kits and, and our Embroider of the Month bundles are back. Every, every uh, embroidery bundle from the year, from the Embroider of the Month, we brought back just for this month. Uh, so be sure to check that out if you missed any uh, during the year. Uh, they're up now, and there are some sales on that uh, if you get more than one. So check that out on penguinandfish.com, and uh, we're busy getting all your orders out to you. Uh, I'm excited about that. So uh, thanks again for shopping with us for the holidays. It really means a lot, and uh, we appreciate it a ton. Uh, tomorrow we will be back working on the uh, Granny Square quilt. And then next week, we're actually going to be working on the December Embroidery of the Month. It is a bunch of those little icons. So there's a Mary and there's a Snowy. There's two different versions. One's Christmas-based and one's winter-based. And we are going to pick our favorite icons from there and make some cute little uh, holiday projects out of those. So that will start. Uh, that'll, that'll be happening uh, in midweek next week. We'll be working on that. So thanks again, you guys. I will see you tomorrow at 8.30 p.m.